Who do you think we are? We're, you think we're really just gonna work? <laughs> ah, you're funny. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel if you are a subscriber and if you are new. What are you waiting for? Join the Divine Crew. Okay. So as y'all can see, today is going to be my first day working at FedEx Ground. So I picked the Twilight Shift or I think it's Graveyard Shift. I don't know why it's called that. But basically I work third shift so I go in at 11 p.m. at night. And I'll be getting off around 5 a.m. So they say. More information will be coming later as I get more information. Now, I have been doing a little bit of research. And it's, a lot of people have been saying that FedEx does not allow phones in the building. Does not allow phones at all. So, I'm not going to bring my phone inside. I'm not going to bring, obviously, my camera inside. But I will keep y'all updated. Um, it's really cold outside, y'all. So I got on the turtleneck tonight. We probably won't be working, like physically working tonight. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a lot of, you know, learning the job and watching videos. You know, simple orientation type of things like that. So I just have on this turtleneck and my jeans. Simple as that. I'm about to head out to my car, warm it up a little bit. And then just hit there. I am going to be commuting. So I have to drive like a good 25, 30 minutes just to get there. So I'm going to have to leave out a good 25, 30 minutes before it's time for me to even start. So I'm about to just head out. I don't know why I'm zoomed in, but the skin is skinning, y'all. Okay. Anyways, I'm in my car right now, obviously. I'm trying to get this little light so y'all can see my face. I can't believe I gotta leave my phone in the car. Like, this is so sad. I'm about to go ahead and just go in here, and I'm gonna just see y'all whenever I see y'all. Wish me luck. I'll let y'all know what happens when I get back. Two hours later. So... It wasn't really a long like orientation or anything. Basically, we went in there. I sat in there for a good 10 minutes before uh, they actually like took us to the next building so that we could, you know, do our our orientation and stuff. We got in there. They collected, or I say they, the manager or trainer or whatever you want to call the person. They took our like identifications and made copies of it and everything. They gave us our schedule, how to apply for direct deposit, benefits that we have. Um, has the employee handbook in here. If this is bothering y'all, I'm sorry. It's on my, you know, my car. So yeah. We did take a tour of like the whole facility, basically just showing all the different areas that they have it's a pretty decent size i will say that if you are used to warehouse work specifically pertaining to like packages such as like amazon fedex you know ups then a lot of like how the what i say stations areas a lot of how the operation is set up looks very familiar like Obviously, you know, that's a conveyor belt. That's how you stop the belt. That's how you start the belt. Those are trailers, trucks, you know. I don't know. Uh, the no phone policy, I'm still a little iffy about that. Uh, they do provide, like, radios and speakers and things like that. All you have to do is ask your manager. But I guess since we'll be working, we won't really need it. But I'm just thinking about times that if it may ever be slow we're just gonna be sitting around not doing nothing if i do find a trainer or a friend or something like that that would be really nice because who wants to just go to work no phone no music no headphones no radio no clock no nothing just working by yourself not talking to nobody the whole five hours uh six eight hours if you're there full time like that's ugh. i don't know about that but overall I can't really say much about the job just yet about like if I like it if I don't like it 
because I was only there for like two hours, 11 to like one, just going over like the basic things, the basic things of the job and um, just kind of getting a feel of it as a whole. But they did talk a lot about like the benefits and things like that. Um, but I will probably save that information for a different video just because I am not fully familiarized, I guess, with it right now. So I'm not going to be giving y'all no false or fake information that I don't even know my dang on self. But like I said, I will see you guys tomorrow for day two of the orientation. And that's just that for the end of this day. So see you tomorrow. All right, you guys, it is now day two of my orientation at FedEx. It's 1019 right now. I'm about to just get ready to head out. Again, I start at 11 o'clock p.m. at night, and I have about a 25-minute drive, so I'm going to be heading out pretty soon. Today, I'm really, again, basic, casual, comfortable. I just have on my black North Face with some black pants today. Nothing special. It's cold out here, y'all. And when I say cold, baby, I need to be buckled up. I need gloves on. I'm about to get my gloves, actually. I'll be ending pretty early again today around 1 o'clock a.m., which is my bad. I can get in and get out. We can't break our phones inside the building, so I'm going to just be there. I got a book. I'm going to read the book. And then hopefully time flies. I don't know how I'm going to do this, y'all. Like with no phones inside the building. Just, shh, I don't know. But I'm, again, I'm about to just head there. And I'll see y'all when I get there. Y'all, I'm about to go into this place without my phone <laughs> i'll see y'all later two hours later all right you guys i am back at home obviously um orientation is over again it was only two hours tonight so a breeze wasn't a problem at all if you see something black running back there it's not a roach it's my cat her name's tinka she likes to make an appearance every once in a while but I'm just going to show you all what they gave me here let me make a quick thumbnail all right thumbnails done I'm gonna just talk a little bit about what we did on day two of our orientation so today when we went in they had us waiting for a good I don't know maybe 10 minutes we were supposed to show up at 11 again the manager trainer whatever you want to call her she came in and she got all of us and we went to a separate building and a classroom where there was like a presentation slide and things like that for us to go over today we went over just like basic information again we went over like the safety policy we went over the different um, job roles or job positions that you can have and that you can apply for on the job. And then we also talked about, um, there's basically like a phone app or I guess an application that FedEx workers can download, which I think this is really good, like considering that FedEx is a, you know, large company, a big company, and for them to have like a mobile app and for the app to actually be working and you know for us to actually be using this on a daily basis it's pretty good so okay FedEx I see y'all basically the app just talked about how you can swap shifts with people you can pick up shifts you can drop a shift it shows you like your schedule it shows you what time you will start or if your shift is canceled just different like different things like that are on this app which I think is pretty good so um, thumbs up on that note again no phones I'm gonna keep bringing it up because it's 2022 why are we not having our phones at work like come on now who do you think we are where you think we're really just gonna work <laughs> ah, you're funny we didn't really talk about much I can't say though like just being in there um, like it, it didn't even feel like we was in there for two hours but we 
show world we got in our 11 and left out around 12 58 12 59 1 a.m in the morning today we got our badges or our our ids made which i'm gonna show you here in a minute we talked about safety we talked about job roles we talked about the app yeah that's pretty much all we talked about today we talked about like hazmat packages and you know work related stuff basically it was casual orientation just learning about the job the company before i go i do want to show you all what they gave me i was waiting to get one of these bags like who you know is giving out free birkins no nah, i'm just like but we do got this free and i keep saying free because it was a free fedex clear bag um they mainly want us to bring clear bags in so that's why they do provide a fedex clear bag and that's just so when we are going through a security check it is a lot smoother and a lot easier for security to check our bags and we won't have to stop and unzip or open up our purses or backpacks or things like that for them to actually dig around and look in there so having these clear bags is it really is going to come in handy so i will probably most likely use it but at the same time I'm not bringing my phone, I'm not bringing headphones, I'm not bringing a speaker, I'm not bringing any type of like, anything that's going to, I guess need to be in a bag. Um, I will bring like something to drink obviously, but I don't need to bring a whole bag just to bring a water bottle in. Cause again, I'm going in there with no phone, so I guess I'll bring a book. Anyways, so I'm gonna just grab this photo out really quickly because I actually got this and I think I showed you guys this yesterday. I'm not sure. But I got this um folder and basically in the folder um it has like my schedule on what I'm going to be working for the next three weeks on there. Um and then I also wrote down like some additional notes that I will find pretty handy. And then they also got like a whole packet of information about FedEx that I'm obviously not going to go over in this photo. It has the employee, the employee handbook for package handlers. So that's all that pretty much came into this packet um, in the photo that they give us on our first day. Now today we also did do like a little quiz. And I do quiz because literally the teacher or trainer manager, I don't know what to call her. She didn't even introduce us. She didn't even introduce her name. So she's just the person giving us the information. Um, we did like a little quiz or a test or whatever. And it was just over hazmat packages. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically just packages that has hazardous materials inside of it. So, as we were going over the answers, literally, she was just like, okay, so question one, circle the labels that prohibit it. And she was like, this answer is A, this answer is B. Yeah, so, that's also here. And she said that we could keep it, just in case we want to ever reference the hazmats. Next thing in the bag, this is the good part, because we got some goodies in here. Um, they did give us a free FedEx a water bottle and it is the squirt type so whenever you're out there working hard in those trailers or wherever you are you can just put it up you're done yeah I don't know I may not use this just because I don't know I just may not they also gave us even though masks are no longer required in the state of Kentucky or possibly anywhere else I don't really know about every other state but Masks are no longer required in the state of Kentucky, so we don't like have to wear them. They did give us, they did give them to us if we wanted them. And again, if it's free, oh yeah, I'm competent. So they gave us a whole pack, a whole fat stack. Like I'm selling FedEx masks, 50 cents. That's how many they gave me. And yeah, they're pretty cute, nice little material. They're gray, got FedEx on it. Gang, gang. And lastly, I'm gonna show you, maybe not. They gave me my badge. <laughs> so second day of working, if you don't get your badge on the first day, you'll get it on the second day. 
if you have all your information and stuff that you need on the first day then you're good i'm pretty sure you're not wondering why it's in an orange you know little plastic thingy here but basically they said that all of the like new hires or new employees who come into the facility they have to wear a orange badge for i guess like your first 30 days first 90 days and that's just so management or people working around you can identify you as a new person so they'll know to like check up on you more they'll be able to um easily like accommodate for you if you have questions or assistant just different things like that i kind of think it's smart i know of another company who does this i'm not even going to get into it but I think it's pretty nice you know I'm not really a fan of like the armband things but it's a job y'all I'm gonna put on my little serial number my little identification code and yeah we're this there's no like dress code policy or anything so this is technically our uniform it's just stating that we are who we are and we work there but I'm not even gonna cap to y'all I think y'all gotta see this. You may not be able to see it that good, but you can see me. And look at how good I look on this. <laughs> so tomorrow when I go in, I can clock in by myself and just get to work. I'm gonna end the video here. Um, if there is any more questions or concerns or comments or anything about anything you've seen in this video, anything you have heard about FedEx, please do comment it down below and I'll be happy to help you. If you made it to the end of this video, you are a real one. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.